know this guy. It's Bruce Springsteen. On top of the book and the podcast that you can download, you also have, let me sure we get this right. Okay, there's a concert film. Yes. Of the legendary 1979 No Nukes concert. Now, there you go. There is one problem with this uh, album cover. Every band member is on it except for Roy Bitten. Roy Bitten is not on this album cover uh, by mistake, and uh, I'm in very deep about it, which is, <laughs> which is why I bring it up this evening. So, Roy, you are not here, but you are here in my heart. <laughs> So for the people who don't, I remember I was the right age to to be listening to the concert, the wow. No Nukes concert. Uh, I was I was 15. For the people who don't know, what was the No Nukes concert? Uh, the No Nukes concert was a benefit concert for No Nukes. Uh, <laughs> there it is. There you go. And uh, at the time, I was I was kind of talked into it by Jackson Brown and the Three Mile Island nuclear accident <laughs> sure. convinced me to take part. So that's, that's what the show was. There was uh, all kinds of people, Tom Petty, Jackson Brown, Chaka Khan, uh, James, James Taylor, Taylor, Bonnie Raitt. Bonnie Raitt, there were a lot of great, great musicians. And uh, we played Madison Square Garden for I think two nights, and uh, one of which was my birthday, where I turned 30 and uh, 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 it was it was a great show. The, the B Street Band played for an hour and a half, and this film that is coming out uh, momentarily is film of that show. And we have a clip here of I think this is the end of your second night out there. Okay. So you've already turned thirty, yeah. I think. And the, the the crowd is trying to get you to do one more song, oh. Jim. I can't go on like this. Go on, you're 30. I can't go on like that. I'm 30 years old, and that, that's it. What's what's <laughs> different? Go on then. What's the difference between uh, you now and that 30-year-old guy, and what's the same? Well, it's funny. On stage, I don't know if there's a lot of difference. You know, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, um, you know, we still come out and we take it. All the way every night that we're on stage, you know. So, uh, uh, you know, I mean, that's a completely different person. You know, mm -hmm. at 30, I was I was still a kid, and 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 uh, that was my entire life. What you're what you're viewing right there, you know. Uh, so that's no art life balance. There. <laughs> no art life balance. No, just work, 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 work. You know, and. Uh, uh, so, so that was different, but 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 basically, I, th I still feel about it the way the way that kid would have. I, that hasn't changed at all, you know. Oh, we're so lucky you're going to be doing a song for us tonight. Yeah, sure. What, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Bruce Springsteen? What will you be playing? I will be playing "The River," which is uh, a song. It's a song I wrote when I was that young man. Right there, I wrote it probably only 
weeks or months before that show. I was 29 when I wrote it, you know, and it's, it's held up pretty well. And it was really the beginning of a certain kind of my narrative writing that led to a record I made called Nebraska and a record I made called Ghost of Tom Joad and mm -hmm. Devils and Dust, sort of a... Uh, uh, I remember when it came out, I was 16. I was 16. I just had my license. Wow. I was probably late coming home. I was with a friend of mine who had moved down to South Carolina from Boston, and he really introduced me to your music. And he goes, oh, you have to hear this. And we listened to The River, and I was just riveted by it. And I knew, I knew it was something new. And I'm curious what that, what that, what did that song mean to you then, and what does it mean to you now, 40 years later? Well, at the time, I, I wrote, I remember I wrote a song in the middle of the night, and I was living on a farm in Homedale, New Jersey, and I came home from the studio, and uh, I went up to my room, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the initial inspiration was. I think I'd been listening to some Hank Williams, and he had a song about going down to the river, uh, and the river was dry, I, I, something like that, you know. So it stayed in my head. And uh, my sister was, who lived only a half hour away from me, was sort of living my parents' lives, you know. They were just, you know, living a very blue collar life. Her husband was a construction worker, it was a 70s recession. Uh, there wasn't a lot of work to be had. And I started. Really, she was the inspiration for, she and her husband were the inspiration for the core of, of that song. Uh, and uh, once I got the opening lines that I come from down in the valley or Mr. When You're Young, they bring you up to do like your dad had done. The rest fell out after that, you know? <laughs> so, uh, well, Bruce, thanks so much for being here. Yeah. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Always wonderful to talk to you. The book is Renegades. The man is Bruce Springsteen. He'll be right back with a song. Stick around.